If you're just starting out with Linux, diving into advanced, hands-on distributions can be overwhelming and counterproductive. This highlights six distributions, Linux from scratch, Gen2, Arch Linux, Slackware, Nixos, and Void Linux, that are best left until you've mastered the basics. Each of these distros offers powerful flexibility and deep learning opportunities, but comes with steep learning curves, extensive manual compilation, intricate configuration languages, minimal automation, or unconventional init systems. Instead, beginners should begin with user-friendly distros before tackling these more advanced environments. Distributions to avoid until you're experienced. Linux from scratch. Building a system with Linux from scratch, LFS, means following a detailed handbook to compile every component by hand. You'll learn to construct tool chains, compile the kernel, install base software, and set up drivers from scratch. However, the voluminosity of the documentation and the absence of pre-built packages demand deep familiarity with compilation tools and Linux internals. It's easy to get stuck copying commands verbatim without understanding them fully. Gen2. Gen2's Portage Package Manager compiles every package from source to optimize for your hardware and preferences. This grants unparalleled control and performance tuning, but it also exposes you to tedious dependency chains. Attempting to build one program may launch a cascade of other builds, consuming hours or even days on slower machines. Until you're confident managing USE flags, resolving circular dependencies, and troubleshooting build failures, Gentoo can be an exercise in frustration rather than learning. Arch Linux. Arch Linux offers a minimalist base and a rolling release model, expecting users to configure almost everything via the command line. While the installation guide walks you through partitioning, formatting, and bootloader setup, there's no traditional GUI installer, only the community-maintained Arch install helper, which is still geared toward experienced users. Missing a step or misconfiguring fstab can leave you in a broken system. Beginners will benefit from a distro with an intuitive installer before attempting Arch's DIY approach. Slackware. As one of the oldest distributions still maintained, Slackware prides itself on simplicity and stability. However, it lacks automated dependency resolution. You use PKG tool and Slack PKG to add or remove tarball-based packages, but you must manually track and remove obsolete dependencies yourself. New users accustomed to App Store convenience will find this workflow cumbersome and error-prone, with little hand-holding compared to modern package managers. NixOS. NixOS employs a declarative configuration model using the Nix expression language to describe system state. Every aspect, from kernel parameters to user environments, is specified in a single configuration.nix file, making rollbacks easy and environments reproducible. However, mastering Nix's syntax, import modules, and understanding the immutable store takes time, and even finding how to enable proprietary software requires diving into nixprekeys.config options. Beginners will likely be overwhelmed by the abstracted package management approach. Void Linux. Void Linux is an independent rolling release distro built from scratch with its own XBPS package manager and runit init system instead of systemed. While XBPS is fast and supports binary and source builds, and Runit offers simplicity and speed, the combination is less documented and discussed online compared to mainstream distros. Beginners may struggle to find community support for Runit or troubleshoot XBPS quirks, making Void better suited for those comfortable reading source code and wading through minimal documentation. Conclusion before tackling these advanced distributions, build confidence with beginner-friendly options that offer graphical installers, large communities, and automated tools. Distros like Ubuntu, complete with built-in updates, driver support, and beginner tutorials, and its flavors Lubuntu or Linux Mint provide a gentler introduction to Linux fundamentals. Once you've mastered the command line, file system hierarchy, and basic package management in a forgiving environment, you'll be ready to explore the full power and educational value of LFS, Gen2, Arch, Slackware, NixOS, and Void Linux. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, everybody. And don't forget, I'll be posting videos daily without missing any day. So don't forget to like my content, share my content on all social media platforms so we can build a larger Linux community and conquer the world with love. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to my everyday content.
Bye. Have a wonderful day.